babi ya hali zetu usifikirie na nimesema mara nyingi kwamba there is sadness in heaven no the only time there was sadness in heaven is when the plans the original plans of god had been thwarted by satan when he had uh, taken over the dominion through cunningness mbuka katika kitabu cha john 10:10 the bible says the enemy satan his work is to steal to kill and to destroy hiyo ndio mpango wake na hata haya mambo tu kipindi hiki kile anafurahia ni kuiba roho za watu ambao ni nyepesi kumbuka kwamba uh, sio watu wote walikuwa wamejenga misingi yao kwa jiwe sasa kama haukuenja kujenga kwa jiwe basi misingi ya dunia imetingizwa already ile masaa tunasamanga when the foundation of the world shall be shaken is already been shaken now is over one month when most of you have not been able even to go to church this is the fourth sunday you can imagine and meaning some of you if then you did not ukujibebea mafuta oh what you been saying the bible is true and when nasema kwamba walikuwa wasichana watano na mmoja ndiye huyo akawa na na watano wakaweka mafuta na waliko weka mafuta yao wale wengine watano wanaitwa wapumbavu hawakuweza kuweka mafuta yao na ipo malizika basi maandiko inasema kwamba naye bwana harusi akaja masaa yale ambayo mafuta yao yalikuwa yamekauka na suwara apendi zat walifungiwa nje because walienda masaa yale haistahili uh, unapoona zile gari za mafuta when we look at those petroleum tankers they carry petrol and one could be using diesel the engine is propelled by diesel we call them ci engine compression engine but you'll find that it's carrying petrol it's carrying paraffin or kerosene others could be carrying diesel but it will be very unfortunate when it will be they are they are, they, they are not check their tanks itakuwa ni aibu kukuta kwamba ile gari uh, imeweka mafuta ime, imebeba mafuta na imesimama kando kwa sababu mafuta yake yameweza kukusha that is very important kujua kwamba that is preparedness na kuwa tayari nimesafiri na ndege na nashukuru the way they are prepared i love the the efficiency or the excellence in the planes in the airlines they always make sure that something like fuel food water they even carry uh, paracetamol some some medicines ukaumwa na kichwa wako na panado wako na hizo vitu wamejibebea so unakuta kwamba they prepare knowing that such a thing can happen so they are able to tackle the eventualities likewise saying ni vizuri kuwa sisi ambao ni wa Kristo kuwa tunajua hayo mambo kwa nini Jesus was down here on earth he talked so much about his commission his, his mission and where he was supposed to be going he never uh, diverted from the main course na we ni hivyo hivyo tu kuwe na the epidemic ambayo tuko nayo it should not stop you from the main goal your main goal is to come here be fruitful bear fruits fruits that remain before you depart because the bible says uh, we shall eventually depart from this and go into the next dispensation so having said that paulo anasema in the book of He speaks in the book of Philippians 4 verse 17 that although I took your gifts I did not need them rather I took so that this fruit may be deposited in your account I'm always very concerned about your personal account it's very important to know about that Today I want to speak something for shortly and uh, before I do that I want to thank you all of you who've been watching All of you been following us through Facebook accounts. May the Lord richly bless you. It's a gracious moment. I'm so moved, I'm so excited 
when I know what your plan and what God is doing in your life. Uh, to some of you, may the Lord literally bless you for being uh, supportive and what you've been doing all through. I thank God there are those that come one time in the other and you make, you do the, your cause in this sanctuary. Mengine mnakuja mnaosha, mnangine mnakuja mna tarisha tu, you keep it clean. Uh, others you just come and uh, have a look around and that is very important. Many things are going on, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for those who have been supportive. But I want to say that, okay, it's very important for all of us who know that when we are told to do things in distance, this is a way. And because you cannot have any excuse, don't get any excuse. Because you will not have an excuse to tell God that during this and this epidemic, I did not have an opportunity to serve you. No, God has opened the doors. And that's why I put everything in line for you that you may be able to have contact, to have some connections, and God will bless you. Thank you. Uh, I want to speak about some message on uh, good success. Good success. Good success. I know almost everybody wants to succeed. And we have so many policies written. People talk about success. I also personally love what we call success. In fact, one of my saying is that success has relatives and failure is an orphan. Success has relatives and failure is an orphan. And of course, you don't want to be an orphan. Uh, when Jesus came here down on earth, he displayed some very unique technique of doing things. For only three years that he did his ministry, everything fell in place. He made an impact. Because whatever he did, he followed up the guidelines of his father. You'll find all the time he's saying that what I'm doing, I'm doing the will of my father. Kwingine akasema kwamba, uh, yale ni naofanya ni yale baba ame niruhusu sifanyangi kile ambacho haja niruhusu and it's also very important to understand that kuna wakati moja mtu aliniuliza why with the anointing why don't you go to hospitals and just pray for the sick and they be healed why don't you go to wherever they are with this anointing for healing why must you wait for those that come here? Uh, why don't you go to the hospitals? And I know this is a question even some people are asking right now. That why don't you go to hospitals? Why don't you go to Baghdadi to where people are quarantined? Why do you go there for where people are already sick and you pray for them? But we always do the will of our Father. Remember when Jesus went to... Uh, one time Jesus went to... Uh, a sort of a, uh, we'd call it like a hospital by that time, in the book of John chapter 5, and he met the man who was there. The Bible says there were many invalid folks, there were many, but he did not go to heal everybody. He left the others there. You can imagine, he went to that hospital, the Bethesda, and he only prayed for one, and because that is what God had purposed. Sometimes we don't do what is our will? We do the will of our Father. That's why uh, good success will always come when you follow the will of the, the Lord. And where can we get the will of God? The will of God is displayed in His Word. He says, I honor my word above my name. And I always say that. It's very, very important. Any moment you shall understand that. Any moment you shall know that. Uh, this is a manual, manual for your life, manual for your marriage, manual for your work, manual for your relationship, how you relate to one another. And above that, this is a book that gives us the, the directives for the next dispensation, which is the next life after this you will be living. 
resurrection like me. So at one time, I want to read the book of Joshua. Book of Joshua. Asante samahani tu. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, asante. Hallelujah. Yeah, asante. And I'll read where Book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 6. God if you remember from the beginning the plan of God was that man shall have dominion. Man has what we call the triunal. He has the image of God. He has God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, the Bible says, Let us make man out of our own likeness, that he may have dominion. Likeness and image. Likeness and image. Likeness, image is the outer, is the outer shape. But likeness is the inside quality. Man has a quality of God. So, and because man is supposed to be the God of this universe, of this world, the earth, the earth is supposed to be dominated by man. That's why everything else, even when Jesus, even if Satan came on earth, he was supposed to be under the dominance of man. Man was supposed to, to, to rule, to be able to tell him no. In fact, the first man resisted Satan from the minute go. Satan would not have had a way. He would still be under captive. He would be under our feet. Even today, when the second man is born again, because when you become a born again Christian, you acquire the original. You require restoration. You require, is, that's why we say you are born again, a rebirth. And now through the Holy Spirit, remember, when Jesus was being born in the book of Luke chapter 1, from verse 34, there was a conversation between the angel and there was conversation between the angel and Mary. And when they were speaking, the angel said, the power of the Lord shall overshadow you. The power of the Lord will overshadow you. That's the Holy Spirit. Will come overshadow you and then you shall bear a child from the Holy Spirit. Meaning now, the power that is going to overcome, to overshadow you, that was a rebirth. Jesus was born out of the, is the son of God. His DNA is fully the DNA of God. When we receive Christ, when we say we receive Christ, we, we, we have taken the gospel, we have accepted the word of God, immediately we do that. What it means is that we now, we now partake the new new rebirth. You become a new creature. You become a new creature. Everything in you is supposed to change. Everything you do is supposed to become new in all your stages, in all you are doing. And that's why you look at that when you are born again, even your character, even your behavior, I call it anthropological uh, change. You start changing and you behave otherwise because a new being is in you. Uh, so man has been falling short of the glory of God, for, of, of the will of God for a long time. Na imekuwa hivyo katika maisha ya mwanadamu. And one time, God was in uh, in fulfillment of his promise to Abraham. Now he was done with Moses and people were already on the way. And he needed to take them, cross over to the other side of Jordan. And so he chose Joshua to take over. But he wanted to speak to Joshua because it was very critical. When I was reading this scripture tonight, I realized God was looking at it as a very critical stage. This is a time where he wanted to display himself and the powers beneath him. The, what he has already installed in his people through his promise, his chosen generation, his chosen race. And he wanted to prove to the world. The world were all the other nations. And 
I looked at around and I found that these were the nations that were supposed to the, the, they were, the habitation was around Israel. These were the people who were supposed to keep on talking about them. That's how when God calls us into his kingdom and then we follow his statutes, we follow his commandments, the world, the people surrounding us are supposed to look at us and see something different. Remember, Christians are not called Christians because they went on saying we are Christians. No. In fact, this came from the people that were outside. These that were from outside. The world called them Christian. Why? They are behaving like Christ. They are talking about him and they have something that is carrying the similarity in them. So Moses was gone and if I read from verse 1, the Bible says, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun. Moses minister. He was a min you know, he, he was from that humble beginning. He was just ministering in the ministry of Moses. And now Moses is gone and he had to take over. Now the Lord spake spoke to him from verse 6, Be strong and of good courage. For unto these people shall you divide for an inheritance. That's good news. Of the land. Which I saw unto their father to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. That you may observe to do according to all the law. Which Moses my servant commanded you. Turn not from it the right hand or to the left. That you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate, therefore, day and night, that you may observe to do according, you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Have not I commanded you, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be you dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Father, I thank you because of your word, O God. I bless your holy name. I bless your holy word. Let it have uh, an impact in our lives, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say amen. So good success is uh, a requisite for every one of us. And everybody wants success in whatever you do. Maybe in business, maybe in ministry, maybe in whatever you're doing. When you wake up, you want to succeed. When we woke up, when we embark on doing something, when you embark on any capital investment, you want to seek success by the end of the day. When you get into marriage, that is, life is in stages. Life is in stages. When you, are, you get married, uh, later on, a year, two years down the line, everybody is asking you, what are you planning? Because success is when now the family moves to the next dispensation and then they, they bring up sons and daughters. Whatever you do, people want to see success. Success is what drives us because life is from even in the kingdom of God is from one level to the other. So there was a mandate and these are God's mandate that was bestowed on, on, on Moses. And now Moses is dead and is gone. And Joshua has to take on. I love the way most people keep on saying we're the Joshua generation. But the minute they enter into Joshua generation, they fade away very easily. Because there's a lot that you need to do. Remember, it's not a one-day job. Even, the, even the, the commands of the Lord, the Bible says you observe them. Let not this law depart from you. Let this not. This is not a one time. This is not a paint. This is not something that just comes and goes. I like telling people, anointing is not a one day event. It's a continuous process. It's a continuous. The Bible says, they kept on coming. They kept on coming. The apostles of Jesus, they kept on coming. Even at the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They kept on coming together so that they may increase. And it's very, very important. Uh, whatever you are looking for and whatever success, God has given guidelines to mankind. Not only to mankind. You should understand that for those that cannot read the statutes, 
God is so faithful that even in animals, he, he inserted some trait in them. There's a way they behave. Sometimes we call it the subconscious of might. Animals, all nature of animals, that way they have mating season, they have the times they decide to move on, there are times they move from one area to the other. How would you imagine uh, flamingos flying from Lake Bogoria or Lake Nakuru to a certain lake in Tanzania where they don't have the GPS map? How, how would they do that? How would they decide that this has dried and there, is another, there, there are other waters elsewhere? And it happens. You see, these are things that God has put in them. How does it come that in, in a bunch of of birds, those that are already uh, are ready to hatch the eggs, they exhibit different different behavior and character. It's because that is what God has put the subconscious in them. But for us, God, because God has given man liberty, I want you to understand that in the kingdom of God, God has given man liberty. God has given man the earth to rule, to have dominion, and to subdue it. And that meaning that he has some freedom. He has some prerogative. He can have decision whereby God has allowed them. Remember, today, like in a nation, Kenya, we have the national government, which is a custodian of the constitution. However, we have county governments that can have their own bylaws. What the law states is that uh, whatever the bylaw that the county can make uh, shall be applicable as long as it is consistent with the national constitution all does not contravene to the primary or the constitution and wherever there shall be a dispute the constitution shall rule or shall govern so, meaning, this is the way we are supposed to live. Uh, today, we are living at a time whereby there are a lot of uh, advocacy, freedoms, women freedom, girls freedom, men freedom, teachers freedom. Everybody is looking for their own democratic space. And in the doing of so, we are not looking at are we weighing that whatever we do, is it consist consistent with the constitution that God has given us? Because at one time I remember uh, there was budgetary attack in the northern part of Kenya in our, in, in our nation. And the thing was uh, people had killed people. Some certain clan had killed people. And so those that killed were already apprehended. And you see they were charged on murder because they really killed people. And that's how the constitution say, whoever takes away the life of another person is liable for murder. And if he's found guilty, he shall be hanged. Uh, if there's manslaughter, then it can be go to, def if it was self-defense, then you can go for manslaughter. But if it's murder, this was purely murder. And they were apprehended. And when they were in the court, the clans agreed on uh, through arbitration. These were the former things they used to do in the traditional way. And they say, no, we have understood. But now we have agreed as a clan that we are going to, we are going to bring, uh, we are going to compensate. We are going to give camo. For every life, we are going to give two camo and one goat and something. Uh, but when the advocates were arguing, they say, no, that is an agreement. It's an internal one. But now the law of the land overrules that. We cannot go by that because if you open up that way, it means that anytime you have enough keto, you can even kill somebody. You can murder and compensate. Life cannot be uh, compensated through animals. So the same, same way, for us to succeed in whatever you are doing, we have a cardinal role that God has given us. 
Hii sheria ya kitabu hiki ni yako. Tumeangamia, tumeingia kwa shida nyingi ni kwa sababu tumetorokea the right constitution. Tumejitengenezea constitution zetu. You go to marriage today, people have their own norms. People are reading more. We have more marriage counselors that are not even basing their argument from the Bible. They are not basing their argument from the from a moral ethical background that is pleasing to the Lord. Lakini wanaweka kulingana na hatua. No, you know this is what Paul told Timothy in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4. He talked so much about this. Akamwambia chunga sana watu watataka kusikia kile ambacho masikio yao yatataka kusikia kile ambacho wanataka. Watakuwa na mambo yale. So you'll find even in our churches people would want you to feed them na mambo ambayo mnayapenda ndio unaona watu wanaenda mikutano ya siasa kile kitu tu kilisemwa jana watacheka na watajaa na watanyeshewa na watavumilia mvua na ule mtu kile kitu anawaambia ni kitu ambacho na wanajua ni uongo mtu anawaambia nikiingia tu saa hii ninaenda ku make sure kila mama mzee atakuwa anaishi kwa nyumba ya those these are impossible things but God has told us things. Now, this book has been tested not only by you, generation and generation. You can im imagine Mungu akiambia Abrahamu kwamba nitakupa toka toka uende. Toka uende nikakubariki. Toka uende. In fact hata kumpatia condition ya kwamba tambariki. He just spoke and said move out of your kindred because I have something to do with you. I want you to move. So the first thing was obedient. Uh, so God speaking to Moses to, to, uh, to Joshua He told him Be courageous, be strong and very courageous That you may observe To do according to the law Yani Kusimama kwake sawa Si kupigana na adu You know what wengine ufikiria Anambua asimame vizuri Abebe silaha No that is not the question In fact we are supposed to stand very firm And strong is adhering to the law of God. Adhering to the law of God. Let me break, bring you back to the laws of God. Whatever we do here on earth, our movement is aggravated. The, why are we able to move freely on this ground? Drive, fly, is because of the pull of the gravity. If there was no gravity, we would be flying in the air but because there is pull of the gravity we remain on the surface earth <laughs> those who have heard about astronauts when you go to the moon because the gravity there is no gravity uh, we hear that you float now you can imagine likewise you would be trying to step na una step kutoka hapa kuenda Mombasa ukiruka unaenda step moja mpaka Mombasa so you can imagine how the world will be but God put some cardinal principles that there is a pool of gravity. Akaweka gravity. Kwamba, we fikiria gravity ingekuwa haiko. Unaweka gari ina fly. Unawacha mtoto jikoni, unamuona ameanguka kajiado. So all these things, but God put them, ndiyo we uweze, na you cannot defy them. The same, same way, what God planned and did. The Bible says, in the first day. Nataka to Saidiane. Because many people uh, are struggling too hard to do what is not written. And is going to be in vain. Whatever God did, he says, and let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that it was good. And God divided the light from darkness. And God, God called the day, the light, the day, and darkness he called night. What he did was good. And when he did it, if you try to defy that, you cannot, anytime you want to turn the day into night, night into day, you only do it at an extra expense. Na hata wale ambao ulala mchana, utakuta kwamba usingizi wa mchana haufanani na usingizi wa usiku. 
Kwa sababu iliwekwa na Mungu aliweka hivyo. He knows when he plans it. So after doing all things and making sure that everything is good because from the first day he separated the day. He didn't God is God of order. He never brought the animals and then he was wondering where they get the water. God never brought uh, the animals and there was no grass. God never brought man and there was no service. God brought man when he had tended the garden of Eden. When he had planted the trees. When man woke up, there was food for him. When man woke up, there was water for him. When man woke up, I think there was a shelter or something. He was already secure. God had put the right animals at the right time. So you can imagine what God has done is always good. And God has spoken that everything that he did, he did in the, uh, in the presence of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now this book that I'm holding today is his word and his breath. That which is meant for the consumption of man. So when God creates man, he says, and God says, let us make man in our own image and likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the forms of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him male and female created he them and God blessed them blessing is a spiritual force blessing is not the physical object I want you to understand that because people are killing people are corrupting people are doing all manner of wrong things to acquire when you acquire the things you acquire wrong in a wrong way wrong motive that is not a blessing it's a curse i can tell you for sure and these two things you can never mix them the curse and the blessings they originate from different sources rebellion bears curse every obedience bears blessings deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to verse 14 speaks about if you shall be blessed, you shall be blessed. If you adhere to this, if you keep my commandments, if you do my will, you shall be blessed as you enter. You shall be blessed as you move out. Your fruits shall prosper. You shall be blessed with your fast food. You shall be blessed in your flock. You shall be. But the minute you enter verse 15 up to verse 68 is full of curses full of curses if you not this and this will happen verse 22 says and our release viva there will be viva there will be flus there will be corona the minute you don't adhere to my to my commandments so because god wanted an extension of a generation and he was speaking to joshua he said keep be of good courage be courageous this courage is to keep my commandment. Because we have a manual. We have a manual. When you drive machines, we have blue light. We have green light. We have red light. Most machines have red light. That's why we have brake lights. Every vehicle, they are brake lights. The time you step on brake, the driver at your rear is supposed to already sense red means danger. When you have street lights the control lights the traffic lights they all show you red anything that's red tells you there's danger even the revolutions of the engines of the vehicles we are driving it will show you automatically that you can do ref you can river ref from zero maybe to four thousand some vehicles to five thousand uh revolutions per, per minute and it will be okay but the minute you do six thousand Anything from 6,000 to 7,000, 8,000 revolutions, they will mark a red. That's a danger area. Anything can happen. Anything can cease. Uh, even speeds, they'll show you. Some vehicles, they'll show you the speedometer can do 240, 260 uh, kilometers per hour. 
but at least tentatively you'll see a marking of red anytime you do from 180 is a danger area be cautious that's what it means so equally god has put those demarcation in our life and it's for our own good these are manual for you uh man has brought destruction in his life najua tuko kipindi cha corona na watu wengi wamekuwa wakisema tu when people talk about the book of second chronicle 7 verse 14 they do it so casually so casually when my people shall come and humble before the lord i'll relent i'll take away the pestilence it's not just an automatic thing it's something it's not a one day you need to adhere you have you have to turn completely you have to adhere to the guidelines is you turn your way completely is you adhere to the will of god why has god put these rules and his commandments as i was with moses let this law not depart from you let it not be to the right or to the left adhere to it and then you shall have good success what is this good success you shall overcome enemies miracles shall work your way barriers shall be opened doors shall be open milango mingine hata tunasemanga ifunguliwe wewe unaweza ifungua kwa sababu ukifuata neno la bwana how it is it written because the truth will set you free the truth will set you free ukifanya the right thing uonagi askari unaanza kubabaika kama haujakosea au mkagi tu lakini kama umefanya kitu ambacho akistahili utaona hiyo mtu akiona askari anajificha utaona hiyo mtu vile anatembea lakini kama hujakosea haunanga shida unaongea unatembea unakutana nao unaambia how are you sir hata anakuuliza can, can i help you yeah i have no problem but could you show me the way because you are not good but you see we are living in a world whereby we are pretending to be to be okay and that's why the world is even having dominion over us dunia inatukalia dunia inakuwa ngumu watu wanata watu hata wana wanaomba kuondoka kabla ya muda ni kwa sababu ya zile vitu ambazo ziko si Mungu amekosea no ni sisi remember in the book of Isaiah 59 verse 3 verse 2 what he said is my hand shortened that i cannot lakini shida ni nini wewe ni anasema ni, ni dhambi zako ni dhambi za mtu ni dhambi zetu zimetuwekea ukuta but your iniquities isaiah 59 verse 2 but your iniquities have separated you between you and your god and your sins have hid his face from you that will not hear mungu kwa sababu kuna vitu hawezi akaona you don't expect mungu akuje kwa madhabahu kushuhudia tukishikanisha wanaume wawili hawezi kuniambia mungu atakuja ati ata macho yake ametazama madhabahu wakati tumekuja kwa madhabahu tukiwa naked wakati mtu amekuja kwa kanisa na wake wawili mmoja amekaa pale mwingine amekaa pale wameinukania hivi that is not wakati umeiba mtu wakati tumefanya zile vitu ambazo tunafanya kule wakati tumepokonya mkate wa yatima tupokonya yatima unatoa mkate wa yatima kwa mikono yake when we do that which is not right look at even the church angalia leo kanisa ile pita kama ikarudi leo where can we go even us personally how many people promise god how many people make vows ananas and safira what they have done is i wish i had ananas and safira hata upate ananas 10 sahi that church would be very strong people who can sell their land and even take a small portion right now hiyo kanisa hata ningekuwa a neighbor wa pita hao watu ndio ningechukua hao watu ambao hata wanaweza ruhusu kuuza wauze kwa sababu ya kazi ya mungu sasa hawa kuuza tu lakini kwa sababu this was now between them between them 
And you see what Paul said in the book of Ephesians 6 verse 12. That we do not fight. Our, our, our fights are not, we do not wrestle with the blood and flesh. We wrestle with spiritual powers, spiritual uh, forces, even arguments. Like Ananas and Sapphira, ni argument. Zile argument. Because the Bible says, there's a way that seems good in the eyes of a man, but it leads to destruction. There's a way that seems right in the eyes of a man. Mwanadamu akiwachiwa, akiwachiwa maisha, atajitawala. Why are we so appreciative of the government? Kwa nini tuna appreciate serikari? Kwa mba kuna sheria? Kwa nini when you wake up, unajuaga mtu akiba kitu changu, nitampeleka police? Bono kia muko na juaga mtu wakienda shule yako salama. Not everybody can get that child. And do you know how we'd live in this world if there was no law? Kuna wala watu ambao wanajua. Wala wanaka kwa katika maeneo ambao ya kona vita. What people go through. Wanakuta kwamba there is rape, mass manda, mass rape. Hakuna kitu wakiwezi fanyika. Hakuna muke wa mtu. There is a lot of agony. Na Mambo hayo ufa wanini? Wakati watu walitaka kujitawala, mungu anaweza kawachidi ya mambo kama hayo. Watu wanapitia vita. Watu wanasikia, wanaona. Mambo mazitu. There are people who have gone through that. But when you wake up, unajua kwamba, ukinifanya hivi, hata kama mimi ni mdogo, nitakupereka. Kuna serikari. So the same, same way. Ujue kwamba kuna serikari ambao ukwaga ina guide wanadamu. But how can you Utawezaji. Look at the book of Job. God is speaking about Job. It's not Job speaking about himself. God is talking about Job. Mungu ndi anasema umenionea mtumishu wangu. Ambaye ni mkamilifu. Ambaye ni muaminifu. Ambaye. Atakama atapitia. Angalia mwisho wake. How what can God testify about you? How long have we departed? We want success. Na hata tunakuja kanisani. But what part have you prayed on your side? Kwa sababu, hata sisi, nimekuambia, like our father, and our foreigner, and our Lord, Jesus Christ, our master, he was doing the will of his father. We also come to do the will of Jesus which is also contained in the Father. Hatufanyagi kiri ambacho. Ingekuwa ni rahisi sana good success. Ingekuwa tunagawa tunapatia watu wakaribu na sisi. But there is a there must be connection between yourself. I'm talking to you because I know you want to succeed in whatever you are planning. If you want to succeed, what is the plan of God? Are you directly are you parallel or are you in series? Mumeingiana ama unafanya opposite. Because in God is patient. If you want to be successful, one thing that is a must is obedient. You must obey God. You must seek his will. You must even want to know what has he said. Ni vizuri hata ndani yako uwe unatafuta kujuliza what have I done? What can I do? Look at those people who came before us and they are successful. They didn't just do things but they asked the way. How many of us are asking the way? Hata katika njia yako. Hata katika kufanya kitu tu. Yahosifati alisema tusiende mpaka tujue pawe na mtu akutuulizia akafika pahali akasema hatuwezi zunguka siku tatu hivi tuzunguke hivi na chaku, na njaa tuzunguke hivi hakuna maji hapa kuna kitu ambacho akiendi vizuri let us ask the way because many people the problem ni kwamba tunaenda mbali sana tunaenda mbali sana if Saul knew Angeingia tule muji ajue kwamba kuna Samueli 
Hanga poteza siku tatu. Angeenda state kwa Samueli. Angeenda akiwa na sadaka na mkate. Angeenda mara moja. First Samuel chapter 9. Angeenda tu. Angejua tu sasa punda zipatikani. Angeenda state kwa mtumishi wa mungu. Lakini watu wengi wamechukua muda. Mpaka mkate imekwisha. Wakati umeangukia mikono mibaya. Wamekata. Hata kipindi hiki. Najua bado unataka prophecy. Unataka uh, kuenda kwa diviner. Kwa sasa autaki kukarimika. Wengine sasa kipindiki mtaona vile excuse mtachukua. Tukua nasema, mimi squeeze ni meona ni vizuri, niwe ni nasoma tu nikiwa kwa nyumba. Nitakuwa natuma sadaka zangu nikiwa kwa nyumba. Kanisa zinaenda kufunguliwa. Na tutawajua. Na I can tell you for sure. You can win this battle. Uwana ni kama umewin. Umejitaftia njia kutoka kanisa. Umejitaftia njia yako ya kukaa kwa nyumba. Lakini wewe ndi utatafuta au watumishi wa mungu. Wewe ndi utakimbia yu milimani. Utatafuta. Utatafuta. Kwa sababu that is the nature of God. Iyo ni nature ya mungu. Aliweka kuhani, akuhudumie. Hata kiri anakuitisha. Usipo pereka kwa mungu, utapereka in another way. Shetani anajuaga kuchukua. Ea gojiagi. Ea anakujaga kwa hiyo nyumba anachukua. Ea kona uwezo. Even these people as anointed as they were Joshua. Kuna wakati waliumia. Paka nauliza kwa nini. Why are we in this problem? Why are we suffering? Ni kwa sababu kuna mtu katikati yao haku sikia. You can lose good success. Even the people, the company, who you marry, who you are doing business with, who is working for you. That's why you need to have the sixth sense that you may have the insight. Mwe nasikio la kusikia kutoka kwa mungu. Uwe nasikio la kusikia kutoka kwa mungu. That is my word in the morning. That you be obedient. If you want good success, you must follow these guidelines. What has God said about this? What are the statues? Remember, statues are unwritten laws. Who carries a statue? Our statues are in the Holy Spirit. Kuna sharia zija andikuwa huku. Siki la pali pa meandiko usikojoe hapa. No. Not everywhere. Lakini we mwenyewe, hata vile utaangalia angalia hivi, inakwambia, hata we consciously unajua hapa pasta hidi. Mbwa hawa angaliagi, wawa wanaiza kojolea gari, kojolea nyumba. Lakini wewe, ni tofauti. Meaning, that subconsciousness, and the more you know God, the fear of God, the fear of God, when you, you fear God, you already embrace His will. Na hiyo kumuogopa tu, inakufungulia success. Utabarikiwa na watoto wako. Nataka kurudi hapo. Watu waweze kutofautisha what is spiritual, what is blessing. Blessing is spiritual force. Because people are looking for different things. Many people are coming to me Many people are calling us. The blessing they want are physical objects. That is not what you call blessing. Watoto uneza patua, watoto kisirani. Uneza patua wakazi kona majaribu. Uneza patua mume shida. Uneza patua maisha. Uneza kuwa na pesa na haulali. Uneza kuwa na chakula na haukuli. Uneza kuwa tanamuke na hakusaidi, uneza kuwa na mme, na hakusaidi, kwa sababu, you never was able to distinguish what you are looking for. When you are looking for good success, it has to comply with the maker. God is the only, is the author of mankind. All good things come from him. Anything else is vanity. It will be vanity. Right now, Hata kama uko na ndege yako, you cannot fly now. Hata kama uko na shamba yako Amerika, hawezi ukaenda sasa kama we ni mkenya. You cannot do that. Hata kama uliko meiba pesa hapa, ukajenga hospitali kuingine. Right now, uwezi enda yu hospitali, kuna sheria, uwezi toka Kenya. Sasa ile, ile hospitali uliiba dawa, uko ndi utaenda kutibiwa. Na ilo natibiwa, hata hakuna dawa enyewe. 
ndio ujue tu kwamba man cannot make it without god hii sheria mmeikataa na tumeikataa sisi wote hata sisi kwa sababu kanisa tuko na watu wengi kuna huyu mama amejipinda na amekuja saa zingine hamna mtu anaangalia huyo mama amejipinda saa zingine hatuna hayo huyu Mary ambaye ni mama mchafu na anajulikana tabia yake mara nyingi atumpendi anapokuja hatuna masaa ya kusikiza huyu mama msamaria kwa sababu watu watasema nini unaona Yesu amewachwa pale na yeye na ni jioni na ni mama kahaba lakini Yesu hakujali hakujali the persecution bali kwa sababu ilikuwa ni jioni akawachwa na yeye some of us want to do things so comfortable from the comfort zone tunataka kufurahisha watu washirika unatolewa kanisani na ule mtu ambaye ni rebellious ule mtu amekemewa na pasta yule mtu ameambiwa hiki unafanya si kizuri huyo ndiye anatoka na wewe shetani alikuwa aliambiwa hiki kitu umekalia si chako si chako so, alikuwa amepatiwa nafasi kubwa he was a head of praise and worship team alikuwa second kwa Mungu sasa alipoleta rebellion maana hiyo inasema kukawa na vita lakini hakutoka peke yake kuna malaika alichukua akawachukua ndio unaona sasa ni, ni their demonic world walikuja na yeye akaanguka nao one third of them wanazungukaga huku na watachomwa na moto na Mungu na walikuwa wamewekewa nafasi nzuri the same happens there are people after marriage ulikuwa unatumia ulikuwa unatumikia Mungu unaenda chini it is happening for men even women kwa sababu umekosa kujua kupita hiyo umekosa kupita when a rocket leaves a planet earth to go to to mars or to go to the moon it has to have enough power ndio inakuwa kana vitu inaitwa segments haijamaliza safari inapoingia the first hemisphere inatoboa hali gravity pool inakuwa imekwisha lazima ikuwe na hiyo ikitoka chini kama zile zina they are fired in america they are fired from uh, kennedy Uh, zina zinapigiwa kwa maji inatoka ikiwaka ikiwa na four segment the thrust ya kuchoma ndio inaitwaga chini when it is propels in the air imepimwa kwamba hiyo itaenda kukatika ikipiga the hemisphere ikuwe na thrust ingine ya kuweza kutoboa pale na ikienda kule basi itakaa ikiungua hiyo ingine ni ya kuirudisha ikianguka ukuja inaanguka kwa maji kwa sababu inakuwaka inawaka sehemu ya mwisho ndio inakaaga watu na imewekwa segment kwamba huyu moto wezi ukapita na wezi ukaenda upande ule mwingine lazima ukue na hiyo thrust ndani yako lazima ukue na hiyo force ndani yako usipokuwa na hiyo force utakuta kwamba utaanguka napenda mambo ya ndege wacha niongee kitu kidogo ndege ukaa kwa hewa kwa sababu ya kuovercome kuovercome gravity kuvuta kwake kwa hewa na kutupa kwa hewa kuna tengeneza kitu kinaitwa kinetic energy kinetic energy ni energy on motion hii ndege ikiwa chini ni kama gari tu iko na miguu na ukuaga ni zitu hata zile kubwa sambeba mizigo utaona inavutwa na tractor inavutwa ndio ipate momentum inavutwa ndio ipate hiyo momentum ya kwanza kujifuta na itaguruma inaweza kuwa na engine sita kuna zile ziko na engine ine upande huu engine mbili upande huu inasikia iko na double twin engine kuna hizi ndogo kuna kama moja kuna engine moja tu pale mbele kuna zingine ziko na engine upande huu na upande huu kazi ya ile engine ni kusak inasak hewa the normal air when it sucks the air inaichoma the taban inachoma hiyo na mafuta inatupa hewa nyuma hiyo hewa inatupa nyuma ndio inaitagwa the inisha inaweka the thrust inaweka thrust kwa hivyo inatembeaga kwa mwendo wa kusak na kuchoma na kutupa nyuma because hot air ukitupa nyuma ina, inakuwa na thrust na ikisak ndege usak hewa hapo mbele when you suck you create partial vacuum ina saka hapo mbele ina create partial vacuum inachoma 
inatupa ina create partial vacuum inachoma inatupa na utakuta ndege inaenda speed kubwa it will move at a velocity that is beyond what we call one bar one bar is a, is is how one bar is a speed of of sound 330 330 meters 330 meters per, per per second inaenda beyond that inaenda more than 330 meters per second hiyo ndio unakuta kwamba imewacha sauti nyuma inaenda inapata speed yake ina weight na hiyo uzito unataka kukuja chini inaweza kuja chini anytime hiyo engine zikiwacha kuwaka zikiwa juu hiyo ndege itarudi chini lakini ikiwa juu ina maintain hiyo inaitwa one half mv velocity kinetic energy one half mv one half mass times velocity the mass of the plane yote na uzito wake half yake unapiga mass times velocity velocity ni hiyo speed inaenda nayo ina overcome ile ya kuvuta chini inakuwa it is above that force is above the force of the gravity which is 10 newtons per meter squared inaweza kukaa kwa hewa na iende naye kama mkristo usipokuwa usipokuwa na kitu umenyonya ambacho kitakweka hiyo above mwanadamu alikuwa amewekwa unasikia Mungu amemweka akiwa na hiyo nafasi to rule and to have dominion the rule and dominion is not in you is because of conforming to the will of God Mungu anakuaga amekuinua wewe unanyama tu kama mnyama mwingine mwanadamu akili zako ni Mungu ameweka uungu ndani yako ndio naona kwamba hata mtoto mdogo ana akili anaweza akazidi mnyama mnyama habadiliki ha, vile alikuwa ndivyo anakaa labda asome kutoka kwa mtu kama ni mbwa asome kutoka kwa mtu am, mtu am train uh, man case aone vile mtu anafanya anaweza akakope lakini mwanadamu ndiye ako na hiyo institution ya Mungu na ni mlango mkubwa maniko inasema kwamba alikuwa aishi pasipo kufa alikuwa aishi pasipo kufa Adamu alikuwa aishi maisha ambayo ni ya kiungu alikuwa me, a, aishi kama Mungu sin is what has separated us that's what the bible says sin has separated is my hand shortened ndio aliuliza watu katika Isaya 59 mbona naona mnaangaika hivi ni mkono wangu mmesikia uwezi ukafikia ni mkono wangu mnaona uwezi ukafikia kama ni masikio yangu or oh my ears dumb that i cannot hear your iniquities is what has separated my face uso wa mungu kwa sababu kuna vitu mungu hawezi akashuhudia he is holy he is holy in our lives mungu hawezi akashuhudia mungu alikuwa na uwezo wa kuja kwa ile kikao cha if na satan usiniambie hakuona lakini kwa sababu kilikuwa ni kipindi cha mwanadamu kupita mitihani yake ilikuwa ni masaa ya Adam a take charge look at all that if akusikia mambo ya Mungu kuongea mambo ya matunda lakini ilikuwa ni I, ni Adam aambie mke wake hiyo matunda sasa obviously ni yeye alimwambia tu akamwambia hapa dunia hii unaona tunaishi kwa hii shamba hii mtu ndio tukulagi na unaona Adam alikuwa hajakula kwa sababu kuna kipindi aliishi na wanyama alikula zile vitu alikuwa ameambiwa na hako amekula hiyo matunda lakini masaa yale yeye mwenye hata Mungu hakuja kwa if naona angemsamehe tu angemsamehe ama adhibu if kivyake kuna vile angeambia hivi angemwambia na kuna vile Mungu angehesabia Adam kama Adam angekuja amwambie hivyo amwambie kula tunda hii hii ndio nimeambiwa ah utu ni to grips utu ni tuzuri ndio utakula amwambie hii ndio atutakula angemwambia ni nini umenishikia hii hii ni ile tulikatazwa hii tulikatazwa 
tubu saa hii na hata siwezi kula umekosa sana angeenda aseme hata kwa Mungu uu baba yangu msamehe huyu mke wangu tumekukosea Mungu angekuta Adam kwa ma, kwa, kwa, ma, kwa magoti angemkuta amerudi pahali wanakutana maandiko inasema in the book of Genesis 2:13 kwamba at the Genesis 2:8 anasema kwamba at the come of the day alipokuja Mungu Mungu angemkuta ana tubu Mungu amemkuta hata ana mawe akitafuta kuua nyoka Mungu angekuta Adam ana mawe amuliza nini unafanya leo najaribu kuua nyoka amedanganya mke ule ulinipatia Look at that is what I call the book of second chronicle 7 verse 14 hiyo ndio unajua watu wamechukua kwamba sasa kuna corona pastors mnafanya nini everybody is able to quote three quarters of christians wana quote hiyo the bible says if my people called by my name who are you called wewe umeitwa na jina ya nani wewe una alama ya nani una lala kwa pombe una alama ya nani wewe ni mtoto wa nani hata Yesu akasema ninyi si wana wa Adam wa Abraham msijita wa Abraham Abraham hana tabia hii mko nayo. Kristo hana hii tabia. Anafanya mapenzi ya baba. Fikiria hiyo kitu leo. How we are supposed to Mungu alifika pahali na Musa na ndiye anapenda Musa. Akamwambia mimi nitamaliza. Kuja upande huu nimalize ya watu. Musa akamwambia usimalize. Now this is what we are looking for. Hii ndio nafasi kujirudia na kuangalia sheria ya Mungu nimeiweka wapi? Nimejitawala mpaka lini? Look at what people are doing nowadays. Watu wanafanya mambo aina gani? Ushiriki hata wa maneno. Okay, hauko kazi, but ushiriki kwa maneno yako kinywa chako kinaongea Mungu ama kinaongea mambo gani? Ni nini umeinua? Ni nini unaweza How many people can even watch a preacher's program for one hour? Most of you cannot do that. Watu wengi wamemezwa na dunia. Wamemezwa na programs. Wamemezwa na vitu zingine. Wamemezwa na vitu ambazo hata kwa Facebook utakuta hauna muda mwingi na zile vitu ambazo ni za kiungu. Hata ile mahubiri imetumwa you cannot comment you want to comment on some inche things vitu tu ambazo ni za dunia na hazina hazina kitu Mungu ameweka sheria isaidie na hata amemwambia usikule hii mti hii ukikula hii tunda yote ni yako lakini haka unaona kana kako red kazuri hivi haka ndio kanataka shida haka katakuletea shida usikule hii usiwe wake wengi kama saa hii tumeambiwa you keep distant <laughs> distance na uko na wake saba seven wives concubines sababu kuna watu wako na hiyo mashuhuri hata Kenya uko na saba saa hii uko worried Unashindwa huyu huyu amesantasize. Huyu ameshinda kwa nani? Nani alikuwa na huyu? Tumeambiwa don't kiss. Now how do you kiss seven people? What if they have each, seven of them have kissed one another? Sasa you are about to kiss seven times seven, 49 lips. Very high probability that you are going to get corona. Lakini ule wa mmoja uta you can even be able uchunga masaa yake ya kuja na ni nani alikuwa naye sasa sasa hii watu wako kwa shida wengine wanapiga wake kila siku kuna wanapiga wake sasa hii naye mwanaume wacha kupigana na mwanamke you are very weak weak men beat wives si unajua unaweza mpiga mbona umpige si wende huko nje upigane na polisi si wende huko nje upigane na polisi we ni mwanaume enda upigane na polisi i don't like it unakuja ngumi hivi mpaka unaweka shati chini koti upige mwanamke na unakuja ngumi na unapiga macho 
na meno wewe utafanya Mungu alete corona yako na kutumaliza buri Adam wewe utacheka Adam na wewe ni Adam wa kisasa hiki what are you doing even now at this time of corona people are pointing fingers ni wahubiri sijui ya mungu kuona ikikuja eh hey, nani anaonaka kifo yake ikikuja mi mwenyewe nimeonyeshwa kifo yangu bona baba yangu alikufa si ningeambiwa kabla niambiwe siku fulani sasa it's not a blame game Adam alianza kusema ni yu mke wangu lakini siwendi ulisikia ma, siwendi ulijua ni nini siwendi ulijua matunda ni gani huyu mke hata ange, an, alikuwa na excuse kusema mimi unajua mkiambiana siku kuwa na huyu mwingine alikuja akaniambia lakini Adam nataka uingie kwa miguu ya Adam uone what he was supposed to do he was supposed to refuse kwa sababu gani kuna matunda yanaonekana mzuri lakini inaleta kifo. Kuna vitu ni vizuri hapa duniani lakini zinakuletea shida. Hallelujah. There are things I'm talking about good success will come through obedience. Through following the right procedure. Through doing the right thing. Through observing and keeping the commandment and sure Joshua won all the battles Joshua alipigana vita na akashinda hakuna mtu naona isipokuwa David but if say one man who fought good fight na akashinda na alikaa na Mungu ni mtu anaitwa Joshua Joshua nimemtafutia makosa hata kama makosa tu si yeye ni mtu ameenda katika vita akachukua kitu akan akaficha ni mtu analeta shida kwa Joshua. Joshua mwenyewe hana pahali. 